Hi friends, welcome to the class of Formal Language and Automata Theory. Now coming to the concept of NFA with Epsilon Moves. Till now we have seen the concepts of finite automata where you are reaching from one state to the another state with taking some input. Now we can find some sort of the transitions where you can move from one state to the another state without giving any input. That transition here we call it as Epsilon transition or Epsilon move. So we'll see what is this concept you can see here in which there are transition from one state to the another state even without taking input. So for this let us consider one example here. Now you can see in this example you can see from Q0 to Q1 I can move without taking any input this is you called as epsilon transition that means I am not giving any input even then also I am moving from Q0 to Q1 here also you can see Q1 to Q2 like this you have. So only two epsilon transitions are there. So like this in your finite automata if you find inputs as well as epsilon transitions then you call it as this is NFA with epsilon moves. Now the task is we need to convert this NFA with epsilon transitions to without epsilon transition. That means whatever the resultant finite automata you are getting in that you have to get without epsilons. So how to do that one? we'll see now that is only the concept here we call it as converting your NFA with epsilon moves to without epsilon moves. I want to explain the concept of that right now. Now uh, what happens in epsilon NFA what is that phi tuple notation of course the same thing but where it differs you can say q is same sigma same q not same and uh, final state is also say similar to your NFA DFA but do in transition you can observe in your, in your inputs not only sigma you will have epsilon also as a input that means no transition is also your input so that you can have 2 power q of course we know that in NFA also we will get 2 power q like this we can get of course it is NFA that's why you can have 2 power q whereas in DFA you will have only one state now we will solve this one how to get NFA with epsilon moves to without epsilon moves so here first thing what is the first step is the step one first find e closure e closure of each state e closure of each state so we'll find what is this e closure e closure of q0 so first of all i need to add q0 next q0 to q1 yes i can reach with epsilon Q0 to Q2, yes, why because Q1 to Q2 is also there. Can I reach to Q3? No. Let us suppose uh, this you take it as 0. Can you reach to Q3? No. Why because Q0 to Q1 epsilon is there, Q1 to Q3, no epsilon transition. That's why you cannot include in Q0. Now E closure of Q1. So what is E closure of Q1? First of all you need to include Q1. Next Q1 to Q2, yes, there is. What about Q1 to Q3? There is no epsilon transition. That's why only Q1, Q2 in Q0, in Q1. Next E closure of Q2. So first you I need to include Q2. There is no epsilon transition. Now finally E closure of Q3. So Q3 only. There is no epsilon transition. Like this we need to find E closure of a state in a particular finite automata. So this is the concept of finding E closures. So E closure of a state means all the reachable states and not only that you need to include first the state itself you need to include. In Q0, Q0 I included first Q1, Q1. Like this you need to include then this is you call it as E closure. After finding E closures now we will go to the problem solving. Now what you need to do here is you need to take a table transition table we call it as what are the inputs you have 0 and 1 you need to write here and here you need to write states q0 q1 q2 and q3 anyway initial states is q0 now what you need to find we have a formula that formula to be applied for each transition that means q0 to 0, q0 to 1, q1 to 0, q1 to 1 like this totally 4 into 2 8 transitions you need to apply this one I am writing the formula here 
E closure of dou of E closure of each state with each input you need to find it that means first I'll go for Q0 to 0 next I need to go for Q0 to 1 like this you need to consider so we'll see one by one how to do this one first I'll go for Q0 to 0 okay yeah according to the formula I'm going first I'll write it as first part a so e closure of Q0 what is e closure of Q0 so Q0 Q1 Q2 so here I'll write Q0 Q1 and Q2 comma 0 with the dou transition and again e closure so this will become e closure of what is q0 to 0 if you have a transition you write otherwise you leave it q0 to 0 q0 q1 to 0 q3 q2 to 0 there is no transition only q0 q3 now e closure of q0 as well as q3 now what is the e closure of q0 q0 q1 q2 now e closure of q3 is q3 itself you can see here e closure of q3 q3 itself so now what is the first one for q0 to 0 what are the transitions you received all those you write here for q0 to 0 q0 q1 q2 q3 similarly we will go for q0 to 1 that is e closure of do of again e closure of q0 comma 1 we'll see so equals to e closure of do of what is the e closure of q0 we know that that is q0 q1 q2 comma 1 now e closure of you can see here do of q0 comma 1 what is the transition q0 to 1 there is no transition leave it or else you can write it as pi union q1 to 1 there is no transition pi q2 to 1 yes q2 so that's why pi union pi union q2 that will become q2 so here you can say q e closure of q2 so e closure i am writing as it is of what is the answer we received q2 so what is the e closure of q2 you can see there e closure of q2 q2 itself so that is q2 that means for q0 to 1 what is what is the output we received q2 i am writing here so like this you need to do for the everything so i'll go for the next one e closure of do of e closure of now starting from q1 q1 to 0 afterwards i need to find q1 to 1 so e closure of do of e closure of q1 what is e closure of q1 that is q1 q2 i'll write here q1 comma q2 comma 0 here so now do of q1 to 0 what is q1 to 0 q3 next q2 to 0 what is q2 to 0 nothing is there so only the answer is q3 so here q1 to 0 we received it as q3 union q2 to 0 there is no so that's why e closure of q3 what is e closure of q3 you can see that is q3 itself and similarly find for e closure of do of e closure of q1 to 1 so e closure of do of q e closure of q1 is of course the same thing that is q1 comma q2 comma 1 so do of q1 to 1 q and q2 to 1 q1 to 1 there is no transition q2 to 1 yes q2 so here you will have q1 to 1 is nothing pi and q2 to 1 that is q2 itself so now e closure of q2 what is e closure of q2 q2 itself now coming to the next one e closure of do of e closure of what is that q2 comma 0 
so now e closure of do of e closure of q2 e closure of q2 is we have seen that q2 itself you can check it in that q2 then comma zero now do of q2 to zero what is q2 to zero nothing so pi here i am getting now you can see e closure of pi that is pi only like this you can consider and from the next one e closure of do of e closure of q2 comma 1 e closure of do of e closure of q2 q2 itself comma 1 what is do of q2 comma 1 you can see here q2 to 1 is q2 itself so q2 to 1 is q2 itself so now what is the e closure of q2 that is e closure of q2 is again q2 itself now next one e closure of do of e closure of q3 comma 0 e closure of do of e closure of q3 what is e closure of q3 only q3 you can see e closure of q3 here only q3 so q3 comma 0 now what is q do of q3 to 0 so q3 to 0 there is no transition so that's why pi here so e closure of pi simply pi now the last one e closure of do of e closure of q3 comma 1 so this is e closure of do of e closure of q3 is q3 comma 1 so do of q3 is q3 itself now e closure of q3 q3 only so do of q3 comma 1 you can see here so what is q do of q3 comma 1 so q3 to 1 that is q1 so e closure of q1 what is e closure of q1 that is q1 comma q2 so like this we need to find that transitions for each and every state with respect to each and every input now we fill these values in the transition table so what is q1 to 0 we found q3 q1 to 1 q2 that i'll write here this is q3 this is q2 what about q2 to 0 and q2 to 1 q2 to 0 that is pi q2 to 1 only q2 next what about q3 to 0 pi q3 to 1 q1 q2 like this we need to find to get the nfa without epsilon moves now you can see whatever the transi transition table you have that is nfa without epsilon you can draw the finite automata here that is transition diagram that is i'll take q naught here anyway all are connected with q naught q1 that's why i'll take q1 here q2 here i'll take q3 here q0 to 0 you can go to q0 q1 q2 q3 so that's why i'll connect for 0 it is q0 to 0 q0 self loop q0 to 0 q1 q0 to 0 q2 q0 to 0 q3 q0 to 1 q2 that means q0 to 1 q2 q1 to 0 q3 so q1 to 0 I'll make like this q1 to 0 q3 q1 to 1 q2 now q2 to 0 pi so no need to mark the transition why because there is no transition for q2 to 0 q2 to 1 q2 that is self loop and q3 to 0 pi there is no transition q3 to 1 that is q1 as well as q2 so I'll take q3 to 1 q1 
first I'll take Q2 like this and I have to take like this that is for one transition now what about final states so of course in this Q0 is the initial state here also Q0 will be the initial state then what about final states in the resultant finite automata so we need to see like this first we need to check for what is the final state in our source finite automata that is Q2 is only the final state now your Q2 is final state in your source finite automata so now go for E closure E closure of each state now here you can see this is our problem in that Q2 is a final state now check out E closures now you find where Q2 is on the right hand side not on the left hand side only on the right hand side so you check whatever is the final state you check that on the right hand side where I can find here here and here so check out what is there on the left hand side Q0 Q1 Q2 now these three will be final states in your resultant finite automata so once again if you find final state find for final state in the row source finite automata so whatever the final state you will find here you check it out R the resultant here on the left hand side that will be your final states so here only Q2 is a final state first time checking where Q2 is there so here Q2 is there here there here also so for this respective state is Q0 Q1 Q2 that's why these three are final states so Q3 will not be why because here no Q2 state is there so in our question so Q0 Q1 Q2 are the final states so here Q0 Q1 and Q2 these three are the final states so Q0 Q1 and Q2 are the final states so now you can say this is the NFA without epsilon moves that is equivalent NFA that is this is NFA with epsilon moves the equivalent NFA without epsilon moves remember this is NFA not DFA that's why some of the transitions we cannot find like you cannot have Q3 to 0 here and Q2 to 0 also so like this we have some of the transitions you may not have in NFA so this is a procedure we can apply for finding that is NFA with epsilon moves to without epsilon moves so first of all we know in order to find this first you require how to find E closure of a state so that is mainly required after that you need to follow this procedure we'll go for the next concept in the next video lecture thank you